All right, guys, I don't really have any idea what I'm doing here, but we're going to snare some beaver here, so this is how I'm going to go about it. We'll give this a little, little shine there, there, get back in this one. Oh, yeah. Don't want to come investigate. I think this right here, what I'm standing on, is the lodge. They got it mudded up. I could see it better uh, a while ago before we got this last snow, but there wasn't enough ice on this this river, which you'll see in a minute. Let me get my snares undid here. They got their lodge, it looks like, under these these trees, so I tried to, I had a 3.30 here for about a week, but there was, there was enough ice that I didn't want to sit here and chisel away the rest of my life to find the den, or the run. Okay, so here's our stick, it goes in the ground this way, so we want to, well that's not going to work right there, let's get that out of the way. Piece of wire here. Lay our snares out. Snare one, snare two. I want to come up this way for this one and this way. Oops, but we got to come around. So let's do this. Let's give that a, a twist right here. One twist. Secure that. We'll come around this way to secure that. And then we'll use these as our support wires coming off that way. So now, in theory, we just need to come around this one. Okay, let's see where that gets me. Then there we go. Stick it in there. This stick's gonna be a problem. I should have picked a different, better bundle here. Let's keep going out. one. This one is not as good. Okay. Okay. Shorten that. That loop's a little large, I think, here. This is the loop I want to shorten up. Okay, that looks all right, so I'm not really, really happy with it, but that's better. We 
push our wire down out of the way there. Okay, so now we get... Ah, let's just do one more piece of wire to keep the cable up out of the way here. our players. I definitely made my snare cables too long, I can tell that. I don't know. We'll have to get it in the water here. There's only a couple foot, but uh, there we go. So we got our two snares. This one, I'd like just to go back just a smidge here, like that. I'll put wire on the ends there, so let's go. Probably got to chisel a bigger hole in the ice out here. All right, here's our frozen river, which sketches me out a little bit. Oop, it cracked again. But you can see where the, where the water's dropped. We already had a few inches of ice, and then it broke down and refroze, so. All right. So, okay, so down in here is tons of beaver chewing sticks. I mean, they're just all over littered on the bottom here. Let's see if I can pull one up. It's just barely arms reach down there, so I mean they're just actively down in here. So hopefully we can get them this way because other than that I haven't had much else luck. Looks like it might work right there. I'd get it up just a little bit more, I'd be happier, but uh, we'll take what we can get here. So their feed bed is over there. I don't have the the guts to walk out that far. And uh, I know it's only a couple feet deep right here. I don't I don't know what this river's really like in the in the off season, so now, let's see here, down. Got our sets in, we'll come check that tomorrow. Now right over there, off in the distance, I have some pink flagging tape, and I've marked out a bank den. I did catch a, a muskrat in my 330 there. All right, day two, we're gonna check out this oh, snare. I fell through right here yesterday. Let's see. Let's just walk. Nice and easy. Okay. I just don't think that there's enough. Yeah, it's just too thick. We gotta chip some of this out. Two sticks. I can't. Okay, we can really see in here now. One snare. The other one got bumped. Okay, so he must have been bringing a stick in or something. Let's reset this. Look at all these sticks floating. I know they're in this tree behind me, I just cannot find that run. Even after I fell in, it's just they got it so dug up. So 
So my guess is he was probably even pushing some sticks out last night at some point. Look at these floaters. I mean, this is just so active, it's killing me that I can't catch these stupid things. There's that one. This one's hung up on the... Falling on me. It pushed them back down in there. Like so. Alright, looks good. This one I wish was just a little longer, but at least it ain't too cold today. It's only like 22. Heat wave. All right, I bet you we have a beaver in that snare. The pole is moved, and I pretty much guaranteed getting it by not bringing my sled. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm almost for sure there's gonna be a something going on here. All right, let's. Uh, Let's get our gloves on. We just had to move closer to this feed pile, I guess. And on me. So we got down here, this snare pole is tipped sideways. So I'm guessing we have a beaver. Uh, this other snare pole, I haven't looked down in it, but that trap's still good. Uh, yeah, let's check this one out. I started chipping it a little bit, but I haven't been able to to feel anything yet. But I bet you we got a beaver. Oh yeah, there he is, boys. There he is. Is not a beaver, is it? Can we snare an otter? We got an otter? No, that's a beaver. All right, let me chip a bigger hole out of here. <laughs> it didn't look like a beaver foot to me for some reason, but now the funny part is, broke my stick. <sighs> that the best way to guarantee yourself a beaver is to not bring your sled. So we gotta carry that sucker out. I don't know how big he is. I didn't bring... Oh jeez, oh Pete, he's a monster. Look at that sucker. Oh, holy crap. That is a big beaver. But being that it's cold, the first thing we're gonna do is get the snare off him. Because I do not want this to freeze in. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to go back to the sled and make another trip. Look at that paddle. Holy crap. This is uh, my second beaver ever. Oh, my God. Is he huge? Holy smokes, guys. I can't tell you how excited I am with this giant, just a stud of a beaver. Oh my gosh. That's gotta be what they call a blanket. That's gotta be 60, 70 pounds. Holy crap. I don't think anybody's ever uh, trapped back in here. All right. Well, let's, uh, Let's throw our bait stick back over here. I guess I can use our bait stick. Uh, make another one tomorrow. Leave that sitting up there. Holy crap, look how big that thing is. I mean, it's gotta be four foot long. Okay. 
We'll have to take our snares back with us. Cause, uh, holy crap. Set them there. This is insane. That's a huge, huge beaver. All right, so let's go over there. That's where uh, we got a 3.30 and a den, so maybe something can happen. Froze up, that was super thin ice right there. All right, this is what we call Sunday fun day, check. Hit church up, and checking traps. Oh man, so far we got the, a mink, a weasel, the world's biggest beaver. My wife is going to be happy about that going in her freezer, but all right, let's get over here and see what, see what we got. Here's our otter slide here, and he played around. He could chip through that ice, no problem. Uh, that is still set. This don't have a whole lot of bubbles, so I'm guessing it's still set. This is a, a 3.30 here. Well, we are making icers an inch better. Look down in here. Oh, still see our trigger set. We got a mink box right there. Nothing. All right. Oh. Holy crap, look how big that beaver is off in the distance. All right, so let me go check some other traps here. If something cool comes up, we shall show you. All right, guys, so don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and we'll catch you next week. But here's a picture with uh, my daughter and I and the giant beaver.